I have some really sincere hopes that collective du'as are very powerful. And when the believers don't exactly know what to do, we must not forget or underestimate the power of du'a. Many of us have felt really helpless in this week, seeing all kinds of atrocities happen. And many of you very well may have also been facing an onslaught of people saying things, and it's only going to get worse in the next few days. The believer is also very pragmatic, as one who knows and understands when trials and tribulations have come our way, and particularly, of course, to those who are most directly affected. What we're experiencing is negligible in comparison. In this time, as you hear all kinds of terrible things, both the news and atrocities committed against our sisters and brothers, and also being told that you and your belief as Muslims is equal, as many of the statements that I have read from jobs, universities, companies, essentially, or Islam equates you to terrorism. I urge you to hold on to the rope of Allah, to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will see us through and will see the people of Palestine through. Also, the many lives that were lost in Afghanistan, also, just in recent days past in the earthquake. And of course, the many, many lives that have been lost in other natural disasters in the Muslim world and in humanity over the last several months. It's been one heavy news after another after another. The reason we come together for collective dua is because the Prophet wasallam says that when the dua, when the person who is oppressed raises their hands in dua, there is no veil between their dua and between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is directly accepted. Many people don't say the rest of the hadith, but I think it's important that you know that the rest of the hadith says, even if that person were to be an atheist, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Lord of all. Even if the atheist does not recognize Allah is their Lord, Allah is still their Lord. And if they were up to be oppressed, he would answer their prayers nevertheless. So imagine believers. We come together as believers. That's what binds us all. We're all from different backgrounds, different ethnic and racial backgrounds, different social economic backgrounds. Some of us don't even know each other's names yet. And some of us are brand new in the faith. MashaAllah, Anjali, welcome again. But we come together because we know that the collective dua, when lifted up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is heard. And there is a potential, and this is my sincere prayer, that there's at least one person amongst us in this room or on our virtual room online that has a sincere heart. And that when they say that dua, it's an accepted dua. We don't know who that person is or the people are. But this is why we read the Qur'an that we read and we did the dhikr that we did so we can put ourselves in a point of a place of humility in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that when we come to read the dua that he accepts it. I also want to say because many of you have probably had thoughts running through your minds like why do these things happen and why do some people have terrible things happen to them over and over and over and over again. And I remind you that the most tribulated of people are the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that the prophets were the most tribulated of all people. And those who come after them in levels of tribulation are the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just as the prophets were. And they were his preferred people. I'll also say something that one of the Shiu had said, especially related to us here in the West. That there are people amongst us here who are literally losing faith over what they're seeing. And the sheikh said to a young man who came to him and said, I'm losing my Islam, my faith, over this crisis that I'm seeing. Look at the loss of lives and the destruction and the loss of property and the loss of wealth and the loss of... And the sheikh said to him, you're losing your faith over the loss of material things when those people there understand what martyrdom is, shahada, of the oppressed especially, of the innocent, and they are gaining their jannah, and they are gaining their faith over the thing that's causing you a loss of faith, looking at it from your security of electricity and water and safety. When we re-shift 
the way we think of things, we reframe the way we see things, and understand that we're judging something atrocious. But from our comforts here, it is not the same as the person there who understands that this is their direct ticket to Jannah, as hard, and as, it is, as hard as it is. Which is why, and I encourage you to please unplug as much as you can, please. But what you have seen so far, you have seen and heard the reels. I know you've seen them in voice notes and such in videos, as I have seen some of them as well. That as much as you're hearing and seeing, even with the cries and even with the screams, you're hearing Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, always. That level of Iman and faith is so hard for us from here in our security like this to comprehend. SubhanAllah. But please keep up the prayers and the dua because we need this to seize these, this, I mean, literally, Gaza is a prison made of 42% children. And those who are dying, it's like a kindergarten prison. And a reminder that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, also said that supplication or dua is the true weapon of the believer. It may not be the physical weapons, it's the dua that is the true weapon of the believer. So all of you have the weapons, inshallah, with which to combat darkness and difficulty. There is no God but Allah, the clement, the wise, there is no God but Allah, the high and the mighty. Glory be to Allah, Lord of the tremendous throne. All praise is to you, Allah, Lord of the worlds. I ask you, O Allah, everything that leads to your mercy and your tremendous forgiveness, enrichment in all that is good and freedom from all sin. Do not leave a sin of mine, O Allah, except that you forgive it nor any concern except that you create for it an opening, nor any need in which there is your good pleasure except that you fulfill it. O oh, most merciful, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We ask you by your might and by your glory. We ask Ya Rabbil Alameen by all your names, the name in which you said, Ya Rabbi, that if we call upon you, you will answer. Ya Rabbi, we call you by that name, only known to you. Ya Rabbi, please, we ask you to lift the oppression from our sisters and brothers. Ya Rabbi, to seize, Ya Rabbi, the bombs. Ya Rabbi, to seize, Ya Kareem, the firing. To seize, Ya Rabbi, all the chemical warfare that's coming down on them. Ya Rabbi, to protect them. Ya Rabbi, protect the children. Protect the babies, Ya Kareem. Protect the innocents, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Ya Rabbi, protect their well-being and protect, Ya Kareem, their material and spiritual wellness, Ya Kareem. Ya Allah, Ya Rabbi. Ya Allah, and for those who pass, we ask you that they count as shuhada. Ya Rabbi, Ya Kareem, forgive us and forgive them, Ya Kareem. Ya Rabbi, grant us and grant them the highest levels of Jannah, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Protect us and protect them, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Protect us and protect their children, Ya Kareem. Our children and their children, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Ya Allah, grant them openings, Ya Kareem. Openings that none of us can see now, but only you have the capability of doing so, Ya Kareem. Ya Rabbi, you are above all oppressors. Ya Rabbi, you are the one who can crush them. So crush them, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Crush their, what seemingly is might, what seemingly is power, what seemingly is numbers. Ya Rabbi, you are above all of this. Ya Ilahi, Ya Rabbi, we raise our hands today and lower our heads with humble hearts in front of you. Broken, broken, Ya Kareem. With this frail, fragile state, Ya Kareem, we ask you, to accept our dua, Ya Rabbi, to accept these meager efforts, Ya Kareem. Ya Allah, in this broken-hearted state, Ya Kareem, we ask you to look upon us today and hear these words and accept them, Ya Kareem. Ya Rabbi, from the tongues, from the hearts, Ya Rabbi, from the minds, Ya Kareem, accept these duas. Every sister here raising her hands, making dua, Ya Rabbi, we don't know who amongst us, Ya Kareem, you're hearing this dua and accepting, so accept from us, Ya Kareem. Accept from each of us and accept from us collectively, Ya Rabbi Alameen. And allow us to be people who continue to pray. 
in bad and in good. Ya Rabbi, that we remember you in all of states. Ya Rabbi, and make us from those who are happy in both states. Ya Rabbi, and happy in both abodes, the dunya and the akhirah. Ya Rabbi, j'alna min su'ada iddarain. Ya Rabbi al-Alameen, we ask Ya Kareem for steadfastness in our faith, in our unwavering commitment to this deen, in our unwavering commitment to the truth. Protect us, Ya Rabbi al-Alameen. Protect us from all evil and all harm. Protect us from those who want to harm us, Ya Kareem, and harm this deen. Ya Rabbi, protect us from falsehood and, and disgusting statements, Ya Kareem. Ya Rabbi, protect our children from being shaken up, Ya Kareem, by these things, Ya Allah. Ya Rabbi, make their faith steadfast, unwavering, true, Ya Kareem. Allow this to make them stronger and bring them closer to this deen and not further from it, Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen. Ya Rabbi, and for all those who've had difficulties across all the parts of this world, Ya Rabbi, we ask you that what you, what seemingly was taken from them is actually what is given to them, Ya Kareem, given them Jannah, Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen. Ya Allah, for their suffering, for their difficulties, for their losses, Ya Rabbi, material losses that you will replace in Jannah with, with, a bount, with bounties that we can't even imagine, Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen. Ya Allah, Rabbi Ya Kareem, anyone here and anyone across the Ummah that has lost Ya Kareem life or limb or wealth or security, Ya Rabbi, replace it with what is better than what was lost, Ya Kareem. Ya Rabbi, replace it for them, if not in this dunya, then in the akhirah, Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen, with the highest levels of Jannah, Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen. Ya Rabbi, and make us a firm faith to know that the akhirah is true and the Jannah is true, Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen. Ya Allah, grant us and grant them, Ya Kareem. And grant us in this dunya ease. And grant us in Yom al-Hisab ease. And grant us, Ya Rabbi, from those who enter Jannah without previous hisab, previous judgment, Ya Rabbi al Ya Rabbi, the highest levels of Jannah. Ya Rabbi, put us with the martyrs, Ya Kareem, and make our endings the best of them, the best of them, the best of them, Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen. Nis'aluka husn al-khitam, husn al-khitam, husn al-khitam, Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen. ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين وعلى نية القبول والهداية والنصر والسلام في كل مكان والسلام في فلسطين يا رب العالمين بسر سورة الفاتحة